tectonic dynamics and potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano, seismic analysis, and surface deformation. Yellowstone is a restless, but mostly ductile volcanic system, earthquakes, ground uplift, subsidence, and hydrothermal outbursts reflect a hot, fluid-charged crust that continually adjusts to magmatic heat and regional tectonic stress. Current data are most consistent with the long-lived, crystal-rich mushy silicic reservoir periodically recharged by deeper basalt. The system's most likely future activity is small, hydrothermal explosions, and effusive lava flows. The probability of a large caldera forming eruption in any given century is extremely low. Still, the coupled evolution of seismicity and surface deformation remains the best early warning lens on change. Geological Framework Why Yellowstone is Restless Caldera Architecture The 70-45 km Yellowstone Plateau Caldera encloses to resurgent domes, Mallard Lake and Sour Creek. The loci of repeated uplift slash subsidence. MAGMATIC system. Geophysics and petrology indicate a shallow silicic reservoir upper crust with relatively low melt fraction embedded in a crystal framework, underlined by a deeper, warmer reservoir. Basaltic injections from depth supply heat, volatiles, and occasional stress perturbations. Tectonic setting. Extension across the basin and range imparts a regional EW tensile stress. The track of the North American plate over a deep mantle. Plume supplies heat, but not a deterministic eruption clock. Seismic analysis how the crust speaks. Background rates and swarms. Yellowstone typically hosts thousands of small earthquakes per year, with episodic swarms that cluster in time and space. Swarms are expected in a hot, Fluid-rich crust where small stress changes magmatic fluid movement, hydrothermal pressurization, or distant large earthquakes can reorganize fracture permeability. That what to read in the signals. Magnitude frequency. A stable Gutenberg-Richter slope with many M2 events, and very rare M is greater than or equal to 5 events implies distributed microfracturing rather than large, coherent fault rupture. Spatiotemporal migration. Kilometer scale migration of swarm hypocenters over days weeks. Points to fluid diffusion or dicyclic propagation. Stationary swarms often implicate hydrothermal sealing breakage cycles. Focal mechanisms. Predominantly normal faulting is consistent with regional extension. Strike slip components mark local stress rotations near hydrothermal corridors. Coupling to deformation. The most informative swarms accompany or slightly precede measurable uplift, subsidence transients, of the nearby dome. Risk translation. Alone, swarms are low signal for eruptions. Their diagnostic weight rises sharply if they escalate in magnitude. E shallow to less than 3 to 5 kilometers beneath vents. E align along a feeder trend. And if coincide with rapid, coherent uplift and rising gas flux temperatures. Surface deformation, how the ground breathes. Observations. Continuous GPS and INSA are reveal multi-year breathing cycles. Centimeters per year uplift episodes centered on one or both domes, followed by slower subsidence. Peak uplift rates during the most active periods have reached several cm year. Typical cycles are smaller. Interpreting the patterns. Elastic pressurization. Uplift localized at a dome suggests shallow reservoir. Volatiles pressurizing a sill or crack. Network. Poroelastic hydrothermal effects. Subsidence often follows uplift as hot fluids escape and sealant minerals re-precipitate. Reducing pore pressure dot stress transfer. Uplift changes column stress on nearby faults. Modulating earthquake swarms and expected correlation rather than a crisis trigger. Key Diagnostic Threshold Start Rate Jump A sudden increase to rapid, coherent uplift across many GPS sites e.g. 5 to 10 cm in a few months is unusual and significant. Pattern Change A shift from dome-centered uplift to linear. Migrating uplift can indicate dike intrusion. 
accompanying signals, simultaneous increases in high temperature degassing CO, so steaming ground expansion and shallow seismicity materially raise concern. Coupled narrative, putting quakes and breathing together basaltic recharge at depth increases heat and volatiles gives warms, pressurizes the mushy rhyolitic system, hydrothermal sealing silica, clays, traps fluids gives poor pressure builds gives subtle uplift at a resurgent dome, pressure transfer perturbs nearby faults gives earthquakes warms, sometimes migrating as fluids move, permeability breakthrough vents fluids gives ground cools, deflates gives seismicity wanes, repeat and multi-year cadence, occasionally punctuated by localized intrusions. This cycle explains most observed behavior without invoking imminent eruption. Plausible future scenarios from most to least likely. Hydrothermal explosions most likely. Shallow, water-driven blasts that excavate craters meters hundreds of meters across. Precursors, localized steaming increase, ground heating, small, shallow quakes, Deformation is minimal and local. Basaltic or rhyolitic lava flows. Weeks months of escalating shallow quakes. Rapid uplift along a linear source. Enhanced high degas emissions. Low plume heights. Significant local hazards. Subplinian. Tuplinian silicic eruption unlikely. Sustained, coherent uplift domes. High seismic moment release at 3 to 8 kilometers depth. Clustered long period events. Sharp increases in CO. So and thermal anomalies developing over weeks months. Caldera scale super eruption extremely unlikely would require wholesale mobilization of the silicic system melt fraction plus volatiles plus major mafic recharge none of which is indicated by normal cycles. Bottom line, seismic swarms plus centimeter scale uplift, subsidence, are expected outcomes of a hot, fluid-rich crust adjusting to heat, and regional extension dot joint trends across seismicity, deformation, gas, and thermal data are far more meaningful than any single spike. The most probable future events are local hydrothermal explosions or modest effusive eruptions. A large explosive eruption remains extraordinarily unlikely on human time scales.